Hello and welcome to Monday. Now every weekday I try to exercise, work out a little bit, and one of uh, the things that I do while accomplishing that is uh, wear weighted gear. Uh, normally I wear this vest which weighs uh, 20 pounds with the weights in it. I've taken them out uh, just now and then I have ankle weights which have um, 5 pounds each so this would normally be 10 pounds but the thing is uh, you tend to sweat when you're wearing anything and you're well you tend to sweat when you're exercising and uh, that's uh, a problem because after time um, your gear that you wear will just get dirty and uh, something that I feel like not a lot of people know how to do is how to wash gym clothes equipment properly. Now I'm lucky that this is a uh, both of these are kind of fabric based and um, I just can you know use detergent or whatever and just wash them and they smell fine mostly however um, and I can get away with that right this is only personal use in the house so it's not that big of a deal same goes for uh, these weights that I use in my wrist these are 2.5 pounds each so five pounds total and um, yeah these were hand washed and they smell okay right uh, the thing is I use detergent however uh, there's one thing that I really should have used and that would be an enzymatic cleaner now enzymatic cleaners just like normal uh, cleaners uh, will you know clean whatever object that you put them on but the thing about enzymatic ones is that they are made specifically for kind of the gym equipment kind of sector uh, enzymatic cleaners work differently as opposed to detergents where one is just mostly soap, the other one use is, again, enzyme, I believe it's enzyme based, right? I'm not making that up. I, I need to look this up just to confirm because I don't want to spread misinformation. But if we go to enzymatic cleaner, um, it essentially uses enzymes to help break down whatever, um, is in there causing you know odors and whatnot ca causing it to be not clean it resets the ph balance of whatever and uh just breaks down everything and you'll eventually end up with a uh clean product it i assume that's just like you know you get pr uh sweat and build up just whatever happens you know in, in these little um articles of clothing or wh whatever you want to call them it helps remove them, and uh, it's it's good for that. It's definitely uh, something that you want to look into if you uh, all your, if you have a you know just dirty gym bag that, well, you can't get quite clean. Maybe try out an enzymatic cleaner. Lucky for me, it was just hey toss those three things in the uh, washing machine, just put it on a speed cycle with a little bit of detergent worked out great this one same thing just hand wash because uh this has this little metal attachment and these have the actual weights in them so i don't want to have this rolling around in the uh washing machine too much but hey we got this all cleaned up we got that cleaned up and uh, i have some gloves as well that i just tossed in there as well again it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to use an enzymatic cleaner on these but uh <laughs> Like I said, it's not that big of a deal. I can put up with it at home, but if you're one of those people that's kind of sensitive to um, that smell or just want to get your gym equipment or gym clothing clean, this might be a way to do it. Uh, if I ever see an enzymatic cleaner when I'm shopping, I might just have to pick one up just to see what it's about. And I feel like it'd be a nice little experiment for me to try out. Regardless, I think that's what I'm going to call it for today. I managed to get all of these clean, and hopefully it won't slow me down tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, 